We're tracking the latest developments now in the Aaron Hernandez murder trial. Today, the jury heard about the former Patriots night out in Boston with his alleged victim, Odin Lloyd, just two days before Lloyd was killed. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell is live at Fall River Superior Court with the Mobile Newsroom. The surveillance video shows Aaron Hernandez waiting on the sidewalk outside of a nightclub. He's surrounded by a group of people. Two days before he was shot to death, Odin Lloyd went out in Boston with Aaron Hernandez. This is surveillance video of Hernandez outside of Rumor Nightclub on June 15th, 2013. In my experience, local celebrities were not typically just mulling around on street corners. Jeffrey Keene was the director of security at the W Hotel right across the street from the club. Keene was keeping his eye on Hernandez because a valet manager told him he saw a gun in Hernandez's waistband. As you're watching Mr. Hernandez, you see what he's doing with his hands. The sweatshirt had a pouch style pocket in the front of it. Both hands were inside the pouch and he had it down in front of himself. You saw no bulge in his waistband, did you? I did not. You concluded that Mr. Hernandez did not have a firearm in his waistband. I did not think he did. My conclusion was that Mr. Hernandez was not a threat that night. And not a threat to whom? To anyone in that neighborhood. Prosecutors have argued something happened in the club that angered Hernandez, prompting him to get a gun out of his rented Chevy Suburban that was valeted at the W Hotel. Prosecutors have filed an appeal with the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court, challenging two of Judge Garsh's rulings to not allow testimony from Robert Paradise or Alexander Bradley. Coming up new at 6, a Glock expert testifies that Aaron Hernandez was holding a gun around the time of Odin Lloyd's murder. In Fall River with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News. Now, more testimony in the Aaron Hernandez murder trial. Live at 5, we told you about Aaron Hernandez's night in Boston with Odin Lloyd two days before Lloyd was found dead. Now, new at 6, a weapons manufacturer employee takes the stand, testifying about what he says surveillance video shows Hernandez holding after Lloyd's death. From the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell has the very latest from Fall River Superior Court. A former police chief, now Glock employee, says in his opinion, surveillance video shows Aaron Hernandez holding a gun. Prosecutors say that video was captured about 10 minutes after Odin Lloyd was shot to death. It's about 3.30 in the morning, June 17th, 2013. Prosecutors say this surveillance video shows Aaron Hernandez holding the gun he used to kill Odin Lloyd. In my opinion, the firearm shown in the video stills is a Glock pistol. Kyle Aspinwall is a Glock expert. He analyzed video from Hernandez's home surveillance system frame by frame. You've got a, a good view of the curved backstrap here, the magazine well here, Front strap here. Here's another still frame. Being held in that, that reverse grip by the barrel. And here you can see the trigger guard and the front strap. Espinwall used a 45 caliber Glock similar to what prosecutors believe Lloyd was killed with to demonstrate what he saw in the photos. This portion of the trigger guard here and the front strap of the pistol as it goes out of view. The murder weapon has not been found. The defense was just starting its cross-examination of Aspinwall when the jury was dismissed for the day. Aspinwall has conceded there are guns that look similar to 45 caliber Glocks. He will be back on the stand tomorrow. In Fall River with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.